All right, and we're back. Hopefully you are ready to see the Agent Edition. Agent? Actually, let me see. Should I have another? Oh yes, I also have to contact the double agent, but I've already done that. Yeah, it's all the same stuff outside. I just have to contact him. Doo doo, boo boo, bum bum, boo doo doo. So I recently found somebody who took all of the movie scenes that inspired the levels, and he like. Basically, I guess you could say, parodied the game by making all of the levels, like making it look like if it was a game of 007, or making it look like a game of Goldeneye while it was actually the movie, which I don't know. Personally, I just find charm is all that. Do I necessarily think it's a perfect recreation? of, like, the game. Yeah. Movie and game are pretty different overall. But there certainly is a level of just pure charm to it. Okay, good. Now he's there. Oh, there you are. Ah! Just heard gunfire from over there. Which, to be fair, is probably from the guy firing a gun at me. I do find it weird, though, that in James Bond, they don't do very much stealthing. In fact, I'd say you just shoot your way through all of your problems most of the time. I will always be willing to pick up some more ammo if I can. Because like it or not, there's only a limited supply of ammo throughout any game. The more ammo that you can stockpile, the better. Ooh, is there seriously body armor on medium as well? And look at that. The game isn't quite as stingy as I thought it would be. Huh. There's a guy out here. I have no idea what just exploded. Nor do I really think I want to. Because that did kind of sound bad. There we go, out the security door again. With my pencil gun. Might just really quickly take out these guards. Really the same deal as it was beforehand. Nicey. So this. It is the destroyer for the mines. I was thinking it was another gun, which it sadly wasn't. But later on, you do get a watch gun, which is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. I just run around over here. Now I can kind of force the guards up this way into a more favorable position for me. Child's play. Are there more guards? Oh. Yes, there are. Go to that. Once again, getting inspiration from real life weapons play. Fire a few shots at a time rather than unloading the full. Yeah. Of your gun. Kind of works. I'm 
I'm sure that Keycard A guy is somewhere. I just don't know what he looks like well enough to ensure that I always get Keycard A. And I'm not really willing to risk it at this point. Just because I am, as I said, not totally sure. Oh, that's Keycard A guy. That guy I recognize, I'm pretty sure. There we go. That's what I needed out of him. Thanks, Keycard A. I think all that does is just allow you to open up the security door so that it E, but... Again, I could be vastly mistaking it for something else. There is that potential as well. I am just misremembering something. Do I think it's likely that I'm just misremembering it? Probably not. I do have some faith that I remember it, but... Eh. That is always an option, I do suppose. Oh, that's bulletproof. No wonder why I can't get through it. There is certain glass that is bulletproof throughout the game, which... I mean, fair enough. Oh. Beautiful. It's quite annoying. is quite a few <laughs> guards around town, if you will. Quite a few more than I would prefer, at least. Huh. Like taking candy from a baby. Which is fine by me. Ah, oh, what is that from? I can never remember what that quote is from, but it is totally just the perfect quote for really any situation whenever something's just too easy. I think that was a plankton line, maybe? So Dr. Doak should be around for something. Unless if he's in one of the rooms out in this other hallway. I mean, fair enough if it is. Oh, it's this hallway, I remember now. Yeah, it's right there. See it? Old texture for it. That is pretty cool. Totally worthless to know about. But pretty cool nonetheless. Knowing that the developers forgot something. I don't know about you, but that always just excites me, knowing that we found something that even the developers totally forgot about. After all, probably what the developers thought when they were changing over the rest of it and not that part is nobody would ever discover that anyways. Or even if they did, it wouldn't matter because it was such a minor texture in there at such a tiny spot. We noticed. I don't think he got away with it. We always notice. Yep, Dr. Doak is in one of these rooms now. There he is. It's time to leave, Dr. Doak. No, 
we go. Objective B completed. No air is there. Now all that we have to do is just... Get out of here. over in the menu to the door decoder. Thank you. Just like in the actual movie, all you have to do is just switch over to the door decoder. Now you have to ensure that Grey Velian does not die. While he's trying to talk to me, I'm setting up landmines so as soon as he's done with this discussion with me, I can set off a chain reaction. Half of everything is luck. The other half? Fake. Your arm's not over there, which is fine. He'll try to fire it. Fire him off, which is gonna be fine. Come on, I'll just shoot him in the face. Also, look at how cool of a view this is. We have 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh shit! Wait, come on! Oh god, get out of there! Whew. Pretty close, but I did it. And now this time around, I don't. Yeah, so now, for the final time of Dunway, I will be back in a hot second. Hot and spicy, if you ask me. Dun -da -dun 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 -dun.